How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to explain you why you should never, absolutely never quit your iPhone apps. And when I say quit, I mean swipe up to close. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so when I say quit an app or swipe up to close, this is what I mean. Uh, you would go to the app switcher, which of course if you have a newer iPhone is by swiping up and letting go halfway, or if you have a slightly older iPhone, you would double press the home button, okay? So then of course you would have all your apps that are opened in the background and you would just swipe up to close this, 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 and keep going. This is what I mean by swipe up to close. So this is a very, very common misconception. Maybe you do that, or you definitely know someone who does it all the time. And the thinking behind this is by swiping up to close, you're actually cleaning your RAM, so you're gonna get a better performance, and you're also gonna get much better battery life by doing that, okay? That's what most people think, but no, this is actually wrong. This actually will not help you do any of that and it'll actually make it worse, okay? Let me explain. But first, let me make something very, very clear. When I say that you should never swipe up to close apps, of course, I'm talking about when you're doing it to improve performance and battery life because you think you should do it, so you go ahead and swipe up and close everything out. I'm not talking about this specific situation where you are closing an app because that app is unresponsive or it's frozen or there's an issue and you wanna actually force quit and then reopen it, okay? So for that specific situation of closing in a responsive app to open it up again, you should do it, okay? That's what this feature was designed to do, to force quit and unresponsive app. Okay, but why you shouldn't force close your apps? Keep in mind that I'm not the one who's saying it, it's not because of my testings or anything like that. The guy who actually said it is Craig Federighi. You're probably familiar with him. I'm gonna put a picture of him on the screen right now. And maybe you're familiar with him from Apple keynotes, uh, like WWDC especially. He's all over the place because he's the senior VP of software engineering so he's the guy who actually oversees the team of ios for the development of ios both for the iphone and the ipad so the guy he just knows everything he knows everything about ios he oversees the team of that actually develop those operating systems so he knows what he's talking about and the story here is that um, a user a normal user like me and you, uh, he actually sent an email to Tim Cook, the CEO. Tim Cook never replied, so uh, that same guy sent that same email uh, to Craig Federighi asking this simple question. Uh, do you have the habit of often closing uh, the apps? And do you think that it, it, it helps um, your iPhone to last longer, to last all day? So then talking about battery life, and then Craig Federighi said no and no. So he basically just said no and no. So he doesn't do it and it will not help you with your battery life. Again, he's a senior VP of software engineering of iOS. So like he knows what he's talking about. And the theory here is when an application is open in the background, it is actually not using your RAM memory or your CPU, your processor, or anything like that as much as we think. Because when those apps are open in the background, iOS does an incredible job of actually managing all of that. They're pretty much frozen in the background. So they are in this standby mode where they actually stay there open in the most optimized state as possible, both for your RAM memory and your performance and everything like that in your battery life, but also when you need to open them up, they're gonna, they're gonna open up very, very fast. And that's the tricky part. So uh, when I say that you shouldn't do it because you're just wasting your time, that's true. So when you're actually closing out those apps, you're just wasting your time because it doesn't make any difference. But also, this could actually be harmful to you. This could actually do the opposite. Instead of saving battery life and performance and everything, it could actually do the other way around. It could actually be much, much worse for your battery life and your, your RAM management uh, in the long run. And the explanation of this is very, very simple. 
Every time you actually close all those applications and you need to open them up again to reopen them, they're going to open from scratch. So instead of being in that frozen standby mode ready to open, no, they're going to be uh, you're going to be required to open from the ground. So from scratch. So they're going to load everything. Uh, from the beginning and this actually is very very bad for your processor because it is demanding much more from your processor and also from your battery so it's actually the other way around let me show you a real life example very quickly of what I'm talking about okay so let's say I want to open up Instagram and as you guys can see Instagram is already opened in the background so it is in the standby or frozen mode so uh, as soon as I tap on Instagram it opens instantly so you don't have to wait anything it just opens instantly but if I actually swipe up and of course again swipe up to close when I actually go ahead to open up Instagram it actually loads from scratch so as you guys just saw it loads for a second and then it opens up so as you guys can see it takes longer uh, on the first on the first time where the app was already opened it opens instantly on the second time um, it takes a couple seconds and of course you may think ah, it's just a second yeah but that's just one example that's just Instagram uh, which is a light app imagine doing that doing that for all your apps all the time every day all day every time an app uh, an app has to open it has to go through all that process of opening from scratch that over time is bad for you is bad for your battery life is bad for a processor you're demanding much more from your iphone than you should so bottom line here don't do anything let the iphone manage its things okay let it manage the ram let it, let it manage the processor, the battery, and everything like that. iOS is much smarter than us, and iOS is much smarter than just closing out everything and reopening from scratch. It does a much better job than we do, and let it do its thing. Again, it's not me, it's Craig Federighi who said it. I'm just here bringing you the whole picture because he just said no we know and he i'm here to actually explain the whole thing so you can understand it much much better so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this video slightly different video just me and you talking um and explaining the details of this big myth that actually it's around for ages like for ages and ages people have this habit of closing out all the apps and that's not very good. And I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you stop doing it. Uh, it's going to give you much better battery life and much better management of your iPhone as a whole. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And also hit the comment box down below. That's my dog barking. I'm very sorry about that. So uh, and hit the comment box down below. And let me know what you thought about this, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you're going to stop doing it, if you're going to continue doing it, that's okay. My goal here is just to give you good piece of information and advice. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.